So here is your certificate of divorce. Yes, you see it. Take a good hard look at it. Because you see, God is willing to divorce you and send you away because you have joined your neighbors. You have joined the world. You are on that wide road that leads to destruction. Those idol worshipers, you have turned against me, says the Lord. You have decided not to serve me. So under every high hill and under every spreading tree, you have laid down as a prostitute and you have gave in to every wind and doctrine. You have become corrupt. You are like that donkey in heat, just sniffing the wind and your craving. Therefore, just as Israel, we are a disgrace. We look to wood and stone. We have turned our backs to God and not their faces. Those wood and stone idols can't help you when you are in trouble. The wood is good for nothing but for fire and the stone to crumble. You can't even ask these things that we have created for ourselves to help us. But you see, the Lord has not forgotten us and our troubles. He is the only one that can save us but you say I have not sinned oh but you have you have you have committed adultery both physically and spiritually you go out and turn to all these other things all these other gods instead of turning to the one true God and as a result you are going out with every God in town so here is your certificate of divorce and go on your way because you have done some nasty, awful, wicked things. So even if you choose to return to me, don't be like your unfaithful sister Judah that had no fear and also went out and committed adultery and also did not return to God with all her heart, but only in pretense, declares the Lord. The way I see it, misery loves company. So if you're acting like your neighbor and you're getting out there prostituting yourself religiously, physically, and spiritually. Misery loves company. But although Israel, listen to this carefully, although Israel was faithless, she was more righteous than unfaithful Judah. So the Lord says to Jeremiah, Proclaim this message towards the north. Return, faithless Israel. And he's saying the same thing to us today. Return to me, your faithless people. He said, I will frown on you no longer, for I am a merciful God, declares the Lord. I will not be angry forever. He said, but you got to do this. He says, only acknowledge your guilt. Acknowledge your guilt. Return, faithless people, declares the Lord. For I am your husband. Because you see, when you decided to make Jesus your choice, you are the bride. We are the bride. And God is our husband. And the minute you say, I do, you are willing with all your heart, mind, and soul to give him praise, honor, to obey him, to seek his face. All of those things that are, uh, that are God, all of those things. And so, return. The time is now because the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus is coming back soon. So don't let him find you out there prostituting yourself physically as well as spiritually. Now I don't own the rights 
to the music or the graphics, but I thank God for them. The time is now. Repent. Return to our Lord and Savior. Amen. Listen.